And next, we're going to talk about the growing problem of childhood obesity and how to motivate your kids to get off the couch and get moving. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Time right now is 745. I had a duck around there to see that. Now, it seems like every day we hear about the child obesity and the growing problem that we have here in the United States. So how can you keep your kids active, whether really small or really big, and let them use some creativity? Well, joining us this morning is physical education teacher Sharon Boggs and some brave kids, Aiden and Ava, who are we're talking to talk about this in just a second. Sharon, tell us a little bit about the problem. How big is it? You're a FIED teacher. What have you seen over the years? Are the kids getting less active? Do they just not know how to get out and play? That's the problem. I've been teaching for 29 years, and what's happening is since I started teaching, we've gone from an era since 1980 where less than 25% of our population was obese or mm -hmm. overweight. We're now on track by 2020 to have every U.S. citizen overweight 75% of us, three out of four of us. That's and, amazing. It's, it's, it's almost unfathomable. No, and is children, it, Is it the too. video games? Is it the food? Is it the combination of all those things it that is the kids technology. are in the house more? It's our, we have become such a smart society because we moved, our brains grew and developed, and right. now we're so smart that we've invented technology that's keeping us from moving. And so that's why the CDC has come out to say, mm. the Center for Disease Control, that we all should be moving an hour a week. Children should be moving an hour a, a day. Yeah, I was going to I'm sorry, an At hour a day, a day of structured movement and an hour and a half of just play every day and the classroom teachers are going how are we supposed to get all this information to our children get them ready for kindergarten give them all the concepts that we're supposed to teach them and then let them move two and a half hours a day it just That's, doesn't seem to be enough hours in the day no so talk about what they're doing here and this this may look like random play Right. To many of us, but this is certainly, this is structure and free play at the same time. Is that what they're doing? Yeah, and you know what's happening? The same part of your brain, the cerebellum, mm -hmm. that can, makes you think, makes you move. So when and you're moving, you're thinking, and you're learning to problem solve, and you're making BDNF. It's miracle grow for the brain. It's, a, it's something that happens in your brain that causes the neurons to connect better and make faster neural connections all by moving. Just by moving they're doing that and making their brain smarter. You have not told Aiden and Ava anything to do. No. And they've been moving these pieces around. Talk about what kind of functions then and just them being able to maybe establish some of this play themselves. What that's really doing for them. Right. It's causing new neural connections. It's causing mm -hmm. their brains to actually grow new brain cells. Well, because they have and to they're, think, they're right. thinking about it. And they're problem solving. It, chemically, their problem solving is causing the neural connections and everything to happen. And so they're having fun, and they're playing, and they're moving. We wrote the Super Moves curriculum mm -hmm. so that we could give the classroom teachers movement So it's concepts. all this is something that teachers that may buy or school districts that right. may and see in the classroom. Exactly. We've got it. Um, all the schools can use this to guide them. And it's really the simple. Lessons. And it's really simple stuff. I mean, your, your equipment. Yes. I mean, the schools have the mats. They yeah. have the, you know, the hoops and, and things like that. You, you, you already talked about, the, we have about a minute left, you already talked about the moderate and vigorous activity for right. an hour. Practice and gross motor skills. That's something right. that you teachers learn when you're becoming teachers. But what does that mean, gross motor skills? It means what your big muscles. All your so big muscles. So when you jumping. run and you jump and you travel and you balance and you move through hoops and you change levels, which is all of the things in here. But classroom teachers don't learn how to teach that. What, what so about the families, though, who, who mom and dad may, are probably both working? There's yeah. probably not a lot of time in the evening when the kids come home to, that you said, learn an active play style. Yes. How can they get involved in really a short amount of time and maybe in a short, small amount of space? That's where we need the teachers. As they learn it in school, we provide home activities that the teachers can then tell the parents, hey, we did this in school. Mm -hmm. These things are going to help your children. This is how they did so far. These are things you can try. And they give them that information. And they're easy things and they're things that they can do at home. They can do these jumping without. They can do jumping and they can do it in their backyard on their stepping stones on the patio. Mm -hmm. They can recreate the same so things they're learning not, in school. So don't, over, don't try to overthink it. Right. Best way Have for fun. people then to get to more information on Super Moves is to go to this Play with a Purpose website, pwap.com slash Super Moves. Okay. You can find out Just all about moves, it. Google and you too. can follow me on my blog. I'm going to be teaching this this year with my own preschoolers and I'm going to be blogging about it. So awesome. if you want to learn more and see what we're doing and hear about it, please follow me on my blog. Check out Play with yeah. a Purpose, pwap.com. Sure, sure Thank you very much, Aiden. Aiden thanks. thanks, you guys. Great Thank job. You. We appreciate you guys that. rock. And we want to let you know, too, nice that coming movie. up at 8.30 this morning, we're going to do our, uh, our community commitment here on Fox 9 News, talking about childhood obesity, the problem of it, obviously, preventing it as well. So, guys, thank you very much, Maria.